Hey guys, what's up? So look what I have here. I have a pair of Earring M1 wireless earbuds. This one's a really popular now ever since it was launched. So, but I only had this for a while. I'm not gonna do like a very big review video for it. Just a very short one, very simple one to tell you what I like about it and what I don't like about it. Okay. So what do I love about the Earring M1s? Uh, well, for, to start off, I love the packaging. The packaging is done really, really well. It's basically a single piece of uh, cardboard that is compressed to a point that it feels like wood, looks like wood. And when you pick it up and you unpack it, it really feels hefty, you know, the box itself is hefty. It feels like it's weighing gold, but of course, if you were to spend 300 Singapore dollars on a pair of earbuds, that packaging then well better be premium, okay? So, this is what I think. Uh, the accessories are great as well. It comes in a, a solid aluminum case. So this actually comes in a case that is machined out of a few blocks of aluminum. It's really well built, sealed by magnets. They actually carry a few charges inside. The earbuds themselves carry three hours of charge. The case carries a further three extra charges. So it adds up to a total of 12 hours. It's also water resistant, the Yuri M1s are also water resistant, so they actually are suitable for sports. And to emphasize its uh, sportiness a little bit more, it comes with a set of comply ear tips, a couple of sets of comply ear tips, uh, one small and one medium. And they actually fit very well in the ear and keep the earbuds in the ear when they're doing sports. And if that's not stable enough for you, you will also be provided with a pair of stability tips. The tips actually are great because they uh, have managed to keep the earbuds in my ear all the time and not even once did they ever fall out of my ears. That is great. Now if you have been reading online about its sound quality, you think that the Yearing M1 sound like crap. Okay, so I'm going to I'm gonna go on the record and say that the Yuri M1 actually sound really good for its price point and for its size because I'm so surprised that with all the tech that's crammed into these little earbuds they are so small they actually sound pretty decent so they actually have a very balanced mids, bass and treble uh, assuming that you have done your fitting well and the earbuds are fitted properly to your ears it actually sounds very decent. Now, are they high res or audio file quality? Definitely not. If you're, uh, if you're an audio file, you would definitely not be satisfied with its clarity and its imaging. These actually sound clear enough, but they're, but they're not uh, audio file grade clear. You know, you get what I'm saying? So they sound pretty decent. And, uh, but are they perfect? They're definitely not perfect. Uh, even the Yearly M1s are not perfect. I actually dislike the fact that the right ear bud tends to disconnect from the left ear bud every once in a while. So if you, you're using this on the train, right? You're using this on the train, uh, and the journey is one hour. You're likely to experience like five to ten dropouts, signal dropouts within that one hour space, and that to me is unacceptable for something that costs. $300. Okay, so unreliable connection between these two. Well, they connect fine to your phone. So between this and my phone, they connect fine. But between themselves, signal drops, not acceptable. Uh, that's number one. Number two, they don't come with any sort of controls. So they don't, they don't have like a skip forward track and reverse track. Everything has to be done from your phone. So where's my phone? Where's my phone? I'm going to go and grab my phone. Right, so everything has to be done from your phone. No phone, no controls. Okay, so if your phone is in your pocket, every time you want to skip the track, you gotta fish it out of your pocket. That's not really intuitive, and uh, it's uh, something that the Yuri m have fallen behind. Uh, what I also don't like about it, uh, number three, right? Number three, speakerphone. It does not have a speakerphone, right? So the, if you wanna uh, pick up a phone call, you have to first fish your phone out of the pocket and then hello yeah i can hear you yeah i'm in the train but yeah 
like that. So, not very nice. A lot of earbuds these days have a speakerphone built in. But with the second version now coming up in March, the Earring M2s are said to have resolved all these issues. It has speakerphone, it has controls, and a new connection technology that ensures better connectivity between these two. So it's resolved a few of quite a few of these issues. In fact, all of the issues I've just mentioned. So I can't wait to try the Earring M2s and experience the changes for myself. But so far, if you are looking to get a pair of these, I would suggest holding out for the next couple of months uh, till the M2s come out and you can go ahead and purchase those instead. Alright, so my name is Aaron and I'm inviting you to go loud and wireless with me at loudandwireless.com. See you there.